Hello, my name is Ravindu Karna Ratne. I'm in seventh grade and I go to Hamden Hall Country Day School in Hamden, Connecticut. Before I start my presentation, let me ask you a question. Are you concerned to use a public toilet during the pandemic time? If yes, then my invention is for you. Presenting my latest invention, the Exterminator Plus Germless Flush. The purpose of my invention is killing any germs that might get airborne during a toilet flush and to save people from getting sick. According to many studies, when a twirl is flushed, a plume is ejected up to three feet in the air. These plumes can contain germs and viruses, and the ejected particles are airborne for prolonged periods. This creates an unsafe and unhealthy environment to rescue users, especially in a pandemic time like this. This is a problem, and my invention solves it. So here's the research I did. Feel free to pause the slide and read it at your own pace, but I will be brief about this. So this research says that COVID-19 has been found in feces and can be infectious and the plumes can rise up to three feet in the air. The next slide says that when you flush in the toilet, you're breathing in toilet water and whatever is in that, gross. On the next slide, it says that one in the, on a long distance flight, one individual who tested positive only recalled taking her mask off when she was in the toilet. Can you believe that? The most vulnerable in the situation includes children, the elderly, and the disabled people. This is because children aren't too tall and can get airborne viruses easier. The elderly and the disabled people spend more time inside of a toilet and can get infected quicker. I decided to check Google, Amazon, and YouTube to see if there were any inventions that could solve this problem. You can obviously close the lid, you can spray disinfectants after the flush, and you can clean dis with disinfectants, regular disinfectants, and there's toilet tablets that can clean the toilet. But why do we need an invention? Well, very few people close the lid re on a regular basis, and I did the survey to prove that. And spraying disinfectants after the flush isn't effective because the virus is already airborne and spread it out. And toilet tablets clog and the chemicals in the tablet tend to react with some parts in the tank and eventually cause leakage. People like my parent, my mom, many of my friends limit fluid intake when they're at school or work of fear of having to use the restroom and getting infected. My grandma, who has Parkinson's disease, spends quite a long time in the toilet and available techniques don't solve the problem, so I decided to create an invention. But before I did that, I decided to do a survey. The survey had 10 questions and 150 people participated in it. Here are the questions. You can go over these at your own pace and I will discuss the results and um, the questions in more detail in the later slides. So here are the results. I will discuss the results, the major results in the summary. So 80% of participants weren't satisfied with germ killing techniques which were already available. 58% of participants didn't know that aerosols could be sprayed into the air when flushing a toilet. And only 14% of participants closed the lid all the time before flushing it. And 80% of participants wanted a toilet with a built-in germ killing method. At this point, I was convinced that we needed an invention to solve this problem. So here are the blueprints I used. You can see that there's a plume launching germs three feet into the air, and you can see my idea of disinfectant, spraying disinfectant into the plume and cleaning it and slowing the uh, plume down. And you can see one of my ideas, which had a pressure plate activating the, the uh, spray, which would spray uh, disinfectant into it. But however, this wouldn't spray uh, correctly, and this idea didn't really work. So I decided to improvise. So I had this is my new idea. Instead of using a pressure plate system, I use a pulley system, and you can see that the canister is upside down and will spray much more effectively. You can see that when you pull this handle, the 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 rope attached to the handle gets stretched out and pulls the trigger of the canister and will which will spray disinfectant into the toilet. So here's the list of materials I used. I used a real working toilet for my working model and for my prototype, which is seen here, I used a cheap toilet seat and a styrofoam box. So here's the image of me and my prototype. And here is the image of me and the toilet and my invention, which is installed to it. So as I mentioned earlier, the, the string, when the handle is pulled, the string is stretched and the string, the stretch string pulls the trigger off the canister, which sprays disinfectant into it into the toilet bowl. This simultaneously flushes and sprays the plume. This is more effective than any other available germ killing techniques. 
I can explain this further using Newton's third law, which is every for every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So here is me and my invention testing it out. Let me show you how it works. So this is the exterminator plus installed to my uh, toilet here, and you can see that there's a wire, a, a rope attached to this uh, handle, and when the handle is pulled, the rope gets uh, pulled all the way across this tank and gets uh, pulled to this trigger here, and when this trigger is activated, it, uh, it sprays disinfectant into the toilet bowl, and let me show you how it works. And just like that, the disinfectant is sprayed onto the plume, and it cleans. So this is the exterminator. Uh, so ch some challenges I encountered was attaching to the toilet tank because uh, unlike the flat styrofoam boxes I used in my prototype, the toilet tank is made out of the ceramic and uneven and traditional methods of attaching things such as glue wouldn't work and the cable between the toilet handle and the canister trigger had to be precisely measured and tightened so the force would be enough to pull the trigger. The the Exterminator Plus is triple E certified, meaning that it's economical, effective, and environmental friendly. The equipment itself is economical and costs just about $30, but you'll have to buy the disinfectant sprays, refills separately. This is 100% environmental friendly and no plastic or other risks will, will be released into the environment. And this is effective because it simultaneously flushes and sprays the toilet plume and will keep you safe from any airborne toilet germs. Future developments include adding sensors and synchronizing the set my invention by a spray with the toilet flush sensor. At home, I couldn't do that for my invention because I don't have a sensor activated toilet. Thank you for my parents for helping me in a machine shop and teaching me new, the physics be behind this invention and my teachers, friends, family and, and, and their friends for participating in the survey. And thank you Invention Convention for the opportunity. This kept me very engaged during the pandemic time. Thank you. Use the Exterminator Plus Triple E certified and save your loved ones from getting diseases.